Finally tonight here, the story of a devoted wife after 34 years of marriage, losing her husband, but determined to honor him. But it would lead to a harrowing ordeal. And who would save her? Our Persons of the Week. Jean Gear was headed into the woods on a mission to honor her late husband, who passed away not long ago after 34 years of marriage. I said, I'm not going to walk too far. I'm just going to find a place with flowers and things and scatter the ashes. She decided on a spot that she knew her husband loved in Olympic National Park in Washington. But when it was time to return, she could not find her way. I got disoriented. I could not find the road. And I was going, how could I not find the road? Dusk set in, and she and her dog would spend the night in the woods. The next day was no better. I knew the only way that I could get out of there was to be rescued. Look at what she built, her own shelter out of branches. Down this ravine, she found water. She ate pine needles and berries. She tried to find a high point in the woods, hoping to be seen. And six days in, she heard the sound of those helicopters. I was so excited. 19 search and rescue volunteers on the ground, four rescuers with the Coast Guard in the air, and we talked to them today. She didn't seem nervous at all. I think it was just more of a relief. The pilot's keeping us steady and the flight mech uh, threading, basically threading a needle through these trees. The pilot, Adam Scherer, on his first live rescue mission at the controls. It makes you want to continue serving. It makes you want to, it, it just re-motivates you and invigorates you to go out there, even on those cases that you might think uh, don't have a high probability of success. You could be the last line of defense between life saved and life lost. And so we choose that crew on the ground and in the air saving Gene. And thank you to Como in Seattle for an incredible story. I'll see you Monday.